Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to model a medicine bottle. I will show you how to draw screw threads on the bottle and the bottle cap. And I will show you how to assemble the parts together by using the feature assembly. Let's first start with a sketch on the front plane. So select front plane sketch. And we're going to draw three construction lines. Line in the middle, at the top, and at the bottom. And we're going to give those lines a dimension. The vertical line will be 74 millimeters. Line at the bottom will be 24.5 millimeters. And the line at the top will be 16.5 millimeters. Then we're going to select the line. We're going to draw a line from this point. That's aligned with this horizontal line. So that will also be 74. Then connect it with this point. Then we're going to draw another line from this point to here and we're going to give this line a dimension of 6 millimeters and at the bottle at the bottom of the bottle uh, the bottle has like a reverse dome shape so we're going to use an arc and we're going to select this point click on the axis and this arc has to be tangent, so we're going to uh, click on the uh, center line. Then select this point, make sure it's horizontal. Then we're going to click on the line, click on the arc, and we're going to make it tangent. Then we're going to select smart dimensions again. And we are going to give this a height of 4 millimeters. I already showed you how to give a shape um, like a fillet edge, but you can also use sketch fillet. So we're going to click on sketch fillet and then the top corner we're going to give a fillet of 5 millimeters select this line and then this line hit OK and at the bottom we will give it a fillet of 4 OK and then we have our profile and we're going to use surfaces so this will be our axis and if you don't see surfaces here button then you can right click and then you can insert surfaces so we're going to go to surfaces uh, revolved surface select this axis hit ok and then we're going to give our bottle a thickness. So we're going to go to thicken, select the bottle. We're going to thicken it inwards and we're going to give it a thickness of 0 0.75. And then we have our bottle and we still have to draw the bottle neck with the screw thread. So we're going to go to the front plane. Then we're going to go to section view. Select line. And then you can see that <clears throat> I want a line from this point right here upwards, but you can see that I cannot select this point. 
So what we can do is go to Convert Entities, Intersection Curve, and we can select this face. Hit OK, and then we have a line here. And we're going to use the Revolve Boss Base feature again, so we don't need this line over here. So we're going to trim. Trim entities, power trim, and then trim this line. Then we're going to draw another profile. So we're going to select the line. And we're going to draw this profile. And we're going to give the profile some dimensions. So the smart dimension. This line will be 18 millimeters. This line will be 1.5 millimeters. I want this line to be aligned with this line. So we're going to click on this line press the shift key, click on this line, and then select go linear, and then those lines are aligned. And this line will be one millimeter um, from this point to this point, it will be six millimeters and this will be three millimeters. Then we have our profile and we only have to draw our axis. So we're gonna select center line and we're gonna draw a vertical line from the origin. And we go to features, revolve bus base, and we're going to click OK. Then we're going to leave the section view. And then we only have to draw the screw thread. So we're going to uh, sketch another plane. We'll insert the plane. Uh, we go to reference geometry, plane select this face i want it up four millimeters so type in four millimeters and click ok and then we're gonna select the plane select sketch and i want this circle on this plane so we're gonna go to Convert Entities, select this circle, click OK, and then we have this circle on our plane. We're going to hide the plane, right click, hide. And then we're going to insert a spiral. Um, so we're going to go to Features, Curves, Helix and Spiral. And then we want to have a spiral with a pitch of four millimeters. Uh, starting angle will be zero degrees and it's going to go counterclockwise. And it's going to be a variable pitch because the, the helix will spiral. Uh, first it will spiral outwards um, at the starting point and then it will spiral inwards at the end point. So we're going to click spiral pitch. Then we have to insert the parameters. So this will be 0 0.075 and then it will go outwards Um, outward diameter will be 36. Mm, 
this will also be 36 with the same pitch of 4. This will be 0 0 uh, 1.025. And then it will go inwards again. So this will be 33. Pitch of 4. This will be 1.1. So then we have our profile, uh, our, our path, and we have to draw our profile. So we're going to go to the right plane. We're going to go to line. And we're going to draw our profile select center line um, draw a center line from this the middle of this line to the middle of this line and we're gonna make this horizontal there we go to smart dimension we're going to give this a dimension of 2 millimeters. We're going to give this a dimension of 0 0.75 millimeters. And we're going to give this horizontal line a dimension of 1.5 millimeters. And then we're going to connect the profile to the path. So we're going to select this point, then select the path, and then we're going to select Pierce. And then the, the profile is, uh, is Pierce to the path. And we're going to leave the sketch. And we are going to select swept bus base. This will be our profile and this will be our path. And then click on OK. And then we have our medicine bottle and right now we're going to draw the cap. So go to new parts. We're going to go to the front plane. And we're going to select center line. And it goes up vertical center line and a horizontal center line. And we're gonna draw the profile. And we're gonna give the profile a dimension of 20.5. And this line a dimension of 14.5. And then we're going to use sketch fillet to give this a fillet of 4 millimeters. Then we have a profile and we're going to leave we're going to go to services again. We're going to select revolve surface. Select the axis. Click OK. 
and then we are going to thicken the bottle cap and we're going to give it a thickness of one millimeter the inside of the bottle cap also has screw thread in it it's different from uh, the bottle itself so we're gonna insert a plane again to create a spiral click on this face then go to reference geometry plane and this plane uh, we we're gonna flip the plane and the plane goes up only one millimeter so it goes up 1.5 millimeter click OK and then we're gonna sketch on the plane and then I want this circle to be on my plane so I'm gonna go to Convert Entities, select this circle, click OK. And then we're going to create another spiral. So we go to Features, Curves, Helix and Spiral. Um, it will be a, a clockwise. We will have a pitch of 4 and it's going to be a variable pitch again. And the parameters for this spiral will be 41 and then this will be 0 0.05 and then it goes in 40. This will also be 40, this will be 1.2 with a pitch of 4, and then it will go outwards again. It will be 1.25, click OK. Our spiral we should we should reverse the direction of our spiral because it, it goes in the gap of course okay okay then we're gonna draw let's see if the starting angle is zero yeah okay then we're gonna draw our profile again so we're going to select the right plane, click, then we're going to go to line, and we're going to draw our profile. We're going to draw another center line in the middle. And we're going to make it horizontal. And the center line will be one millimeter. This line will be also be one millimeter, and this line over here will be zero point two millimeters. 
and then we're gonna pierce the profile to the path again so we're gonna select this point hold shift select the spiral and then pierce the profile and we're gonna leave the sketch and we're gonna select swap boss base again select the path and then we have the screw thread for the bottle cap we can finish the bottle cap with some ridges so we're going to insert a plane so select this face reference geometry plane we will flip the plane will be 1.5 millimeters up then we're going to click on the plane sketch then we're going to use convert entities to convert this circle to the plane then we're going to use offset en entities and we're going to offset this circle inward so we're going to use reverse and we're going to make an offset of 0 0.2 millimeters and we go to um, top view we're going to draw a center line here to the outer circle then we're gonna draw a line from here to also to the outer circle and then we're gonna give this line a dimension of 0.5 and we're gonna go to trim entities and then trim this line and then we're gonna mirror this line by using mirror entities we're gonna select the line select or select the center line and then we end up with something like this and then we're gonna trim those lines so we're gonna use the trim again and trim all those lines then we have this profile and we're gonna use extruded cut And we're gonna go up nine millimeters. Click OK. And I want this profile along the side of this bottle cap. So we're gonna click on this feature. And we're gonna go to circular pattern. Um, we're gonna click on the circle and 80 is fine so we're gonna click OK and then we created ridges along the cap And the only thing we have to do right now is assemble the parts together. So we go to make assembly from parts. You first save the files, then you go to assembly. And then we can select our parts. So we're going to select the bottle. And we're going to select our cap.
and then we have to give these parts mates so you can align for example this circle to go to mate you can align this circle with this circle and it's it's exactly above this circle and then you can stick the bottle cap on the bottle by selecting this surface select coincidence and then select this face and then it is assembled thank you for watching